Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, everyone. No. Knows where they might end up. <laughs> Nobody knows. Boom. I guess it's a solo. Nobody knows when it's gonna be a plane crash. That's right. That's oh. right. A plane crash. That's right. That's right. A plane crash. I'm putting on lipstick. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was delightful. You like that? I felt like I needed a pop of color. It was great. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the After Buzz TV Grey's Anatomy After Show. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to be back. I'm missing Jason tonight. Uh, he had to be at a prior engagement on a red carpet. A and logo such. event. He's yes. just so high class. Right? So popular. We and love I'm, him I'm stoked to be back after Maui. Can't you tell by my gorgeous tan? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not saying tan, Cricket. but all right, girl. Cricket. We're, we're glad you're back. We did miss you last week. Last week was a great episode. We definitely talked about a ton of different ways Derek could either be missing. You know what I mean? Is he dead? Right. Was it a plane crash? Was it a car crash? Like, we all, everyone on the Twitterverse was wondering what happened to Derek. I don't Which, know. Which, I mean, I remember a couple of weeks ago when somebody on Twitter was like, I think Derek's going to die. Right. I just got chills at that moment and was like, no, that cannot happen. Did they start the rumor and it just spawned from there? I don't know if they sensed the foreshadowing and undertones more than we did, but well, they're definitely the one that brought it up to me first. Well, I have to say, Jason and I, you know, the last monologue that happened on the last episode, um, we did not realize that when she was saying that I had a loss and she was talking to Meredith, mm -hmm. and we didn't realize that there was a little bit of a connection of like, Maybe Meredith could die. We didn't see that metaphor Derek happening. Derek could die. Yeah. What did I just say? Meredith could yeah. die? I meant Derek. But no, I know what you're talking about. Whenever Amelia is like, you've never stood over the body of the person you love exactly. most in the world. So cut me some slack. We didn't realize that that was kind of a moment of something is going to happen until we saw the trailer for next week. Crazy. And I will say that this week was a bunch of really agains for me. Yeah, you were not loving tonight's episode. Because really, again? I was loving the new twist on what is called the plane crash. And I hated the plane crash always. What? Not only when it happened, but whenever they followed up with it for an entire season about no. them buying the hospital, for another season about Arizona's leg being cut off, and now they're bringing it up again. I would have to disagree. When the plane crash happened... Totally into it. It was a it was a story. It was riveting. What was going to happen next? I was into it like three or four episodes into the first ep you know season of the next season. Then it just kind of like was drawn out for way too long. That's and then where they I brought it went up back. again. I like this new twist of this episode this season. So or you know right now, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't just that. It was they talked about the leg again. <sighs> All of the plane crash things really. But Again? I think it was fun because we have some new characters that really don't know about this whole plane crash. Um, and they got to, you know, I know you didn't like the retelling the story again. Okay. Go for it. That, actually, I didn't mind. I guess I just minded seeing the what I felt like I had seen before several seasons in right. a row. But them telling the new characters who was surprising that they didn't know, that was great. That, yeah. that was I mean, that was hilarious when Maggie's like, ugh, one time on the tarmac for four <laughs> hours. And, and we've, really, all, we've all had that yeah, moment. It sounded like a terrible story. Like, her flight story really was terrible, but they're all sitting in the room like, like oh, mm, girl, you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've I've had those moments on the plane and I'm like, this is the worst moment of my life. And then someone's <laughs> like, well, actually, this could be a little bit more worse, right? Like, mm -hmm. such a fun, it was a funny episode. Um, so tonight's episode was a flight down. We start off the episode with the chief and he's in his car. He's driving through Seattle. We got to see the floating bridge. People don't know about that in Seattle. Like, really fun key points that they pointed out 
to bring us back to that, it's Seattle, you know? So he's driving by, he had some great music on, and here that comes was the... Yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he was... You were like, oh, okay. All right, I can see the chief dance longer. <laughs> so it was fun, but then that moment where he looked up and you see the reflection in his glass and it's a plane coming towards him, it was kind of a fun start of the episode. Yeah, always a fun start to the episode. Yeah. I like it whenever Disaster they start out like that. about to happen. But then... We jump immediately into Oelia. Blah! Have you guys been together two episodes or what? Because they are <laughs> acting like they are in a marriage that is falling apart. It was like... They just got together. Exactly. I wrote down it was dramatic way too soon. Uh -huh. Like, just... Just their storyline and their plot line got way too dramatic way too soon. Like, way too much. If you're in a relationship and it's new and it's already jumped to that level, knock it off. Because right? it's not getting better. Well, I mean, honestly, it's kind of like they probably, you know, they just got into a fight like yesterday, <laughs> right? And they're just like, they're getting to business. Like, I don't like you today. Like, it just kind of went a little nasty. This, this is a mess. <laughs> we're a disaster waiting to happen. What happened to that conversation? I think I might be falling in love with him. They were oh, like, it's going to destroy playing games. me. That's what love is. Go with that. That's what I want to see more on this show is I don't see them happy enough. I know. We had like a couple of episodes where we were thinking like, she's going to be pregnant. Now we're like over it. Like, we, we were like, they're going to be Exactly. Wedding. But now they're just bringing the tension for us. Mm -hmm. They'll be back. They're back on, right? <coughs> we think. Yes, I don't. I don't know, and I don't care. I was all for them at one point in time, and then all of a sudden, flashback to Christina and Owen's marital problems right before my eyes. We don't need to see that again. <laughs> Poor Owen. Yeah. Give the guy a happy little relationship with a happy little we'll, woman that reasonably wants children. We'll definitely get there. I feel like they're, they're going to get back together and there's going to be a moment where they're going to get there, right? They shouldn't. They shouldn't get together. If they're already here and they're already in that place, Owen needs to go for somebody <coughs> else that's a little drama free. I mean, it went on throughout this whole entire episode. And just to piggyback on what you just said is... He even said it, like, you are my plane crash. If we continue doing this together, you're like a plane crash to me, and I don't want to go through it again, which is what Meredith said to her, like, don't hurt his heart. Yeah. But it was kind of like the plane crash brought it in for him to hurt his own heart, where he realized, like, you know what? It's too much, too soon. It's Yeah, it definitely ridic. seemed like he realized it. These two were just below the belt after below the belt towards each other. But we yep. both think that they're going to get back together, right? Yes, but yes. now I don't want them to. <laughs> I wanted them to last week whenever it was cute and new and fun, and now it's just more of the same, them fighting and people staying together when they shouldn't. Right. But although it did seem like these two broke it off, that's cool with me. <laughs> we'll see what happens. You know what? Sometimes relationships are fast and ugly and over quickly, just like they should. Fa Maybe that's what this was for these two. Yeah. Fast is like everyone was running around in the hospital, bumping into people, and Meredith's like calling, trying to find Derek, and then someone bumps into her in the hallway, and she's like, what is going on? Like, she, I love her <laughs> attitude, like, what is happening? It's like, <laughs> what is going on over here? And he's like, oh, there was a plane crash. Sorry about that. You know, like, really fun. So I really love the energy of tonight's episode. I really felt like it brought, like, the drama, the trauma, all of the fun stuff that we love from Grey's. I felt like it was a little... Beep, 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 beep. Ding, ding, ding. Happy moment here. Ding, ding, ding. Happy moment there. Beep, 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 beep. I felt like the energy was a little all over the map. Yeah, I mean, Meredith had a little moment of PTSD. That's where we start seeing the flashbacks of the plane crash. And we were like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Is she going to like freak out? And I don't know, she just kept zoning off, right? Mm -hmm. So like way too much during this episode. I love that they did a ton of flashbacks. Why? Because. No, didn't love it. Was, it. it the way it was done, not because, not that they did it, but the way it was done, it brought back like, oh my gosh, they've had so much traumatic things happening to them. Yeah, and you You're know over what? it. You're totally over okay, it. Okay, I'm over You're this You're looking at me crash. like I'm a crazy person. However, I will say that the, the PTSD portrayal was pretty realistic. I have it sometimes with car accidents. Mm-hmm. And um, it'll happen on a television show. If there's a car accident on the show, it just like hits me somewhere. Uh, like a nerve next week's was episode. a nerve was struck, and uh, you know, mostly when it happens is a surprise on a show. Right. If I know it's about to happen, I look away. Right. But otherwise, just I, it feels like PTSD, and that was portrayed really accurately. Yeah. I don't know. It was just uh, such a hard. Although episode. we did think it was funny how Meredith said, "Where's Arizona? Where's Arizona?" Goes in there and finds Arizona curled up in the closet. A little bit overacting. Okay, so we it's were not like, us. We, it didn't happen to us, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, Meredith kind of eyebrows raised. 
we were definitely not they didn't draw us in with their acting at that point because we were definitely <laughs> critiquing the both of them. We were like, okay, so Arizona's overacting, but Meredith's not acting enough. You know, it was just like that moment uh -huh. of like, we were critiquing them instead of being like into the story. Every once in a while on a show on set, this is how it goes. You film it a million times and the director probably says, more from you, less from you, more from both of you, less from both of you. It, it just seemed like they and had they too take, many they, takes. It was unauthentic. Yeah, there was something going on with that scene. But so but, are those two really the only two left from the plane crash? There was so many people in that crash. Yeah, it felt really weird when Owen was trying to like connect with the plane crash. I mean, I know he had <laughs> this a girl. This isn't about you, Owen. Owen. It was just like, it felt like di it was a disconnect. Like, why are you, you know, it was just a moment. But I understand he put them on the plane. It just seemed like so over dramatic, right? Like mm -hmm. that he kind of brought it about him. I don't know. It was, it was interesting. I don't know. But it was really cool that um, Karev and Callie, they kind of had that moment where they they were the, the two banding together in this episode to make sure that both of them were okay, right? Karev is cracking me up. He's just becoming the one who all the girls turn to, and he's so insensitive. <laughs> that is not naturally his the guy nurturing you wanna, role. Right? And yet every woman in this hospital comes to him <laughs> for their emotional needs, and he wants them to all stay away, but he loves them all so much that he's there for them anyway. Yeah, Karev was just like delivering babies. She was like, don't deliver the baby. And he was like, okay, well, I delivered the baby. It popped out. It popped out too. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. I don't know. But I, I thought that they had that great moment when he was like trying to ask how he can help she kicked him out she had this big huge monologue like how you can help is to leave me alone people are i don't know not mourn what's go through situations right. differently and in that moment she was the one that just wanted to be left alone meredith was the one that kind of enjoyed being coddled by C callie a little bit she not enjoyed it, but like she opened up. Right. Well, Maggie is the one that hit the nail on the head. Meredith's brain wasn't really as affected by the plane crash as the fact that her husband was missing on the same day that there was a plane crash. Right. So she just couldn't get in the game, and she shouldn't have. Like Maggie said, she was really, really emotional. She. Someone should have. I feel like Karev was the one that thought like, "What's going? Oh, we should watch out for them today." But I feel like there should have been even Owen who was thinking that too. Like, "Hey, guys, let's take a step back." As right. a superior, maybe we should all take a step back today and let everyone work. You know what I mean? And we of just of all the people supervised. who didn't feel for their staff and empathize, it was Owen that was in the wrong. He was just going around yelling at, at, Amelia. at Amelia and be like, oh, this is all about me and how I sent out the plane that killed everyone and cut off Arizona's leg. That just seems so contrived, right? Like, it was just like... Those I don't, two. I, those I don't know. Like, just, they were pretending like they weren't fighting about each other because he was now like, it's not about you. It was weird. They were definitely fighting about each other. <laughs> like, it was it's, weird to put it off on the plane crash. A, it wasn't about the plane crash in the first place. B, it's not now. Yeah. It's like, still not. It's still not now. Karev, uh, Karev, though, just adorable. It's adorable in my book. And I love the fact that he was there for Arizona. Back to the leg thing, though. Yes. I actually didn't realize he was the one that made the cut. I just don't remember. I... I don't remember that being a thing. I thought Callie made the call, so that was fine. You know, that was it. Did we ever see that moment of like the like You know, I'm sure leg? if Jason was here, he would know. And he I'm would sure say our Twitter season. fans could give us the answer to this question. I love when J Jason's like, it was season six. And then on Twitter, it's like, um, actually, Jason, it was season four episode. <laughs> like, But all of us in here think, no way, Jason's wrong. So yeah. we don't care enough to correct. But there's people out there that are like, um, Jason, actually... <laughs> while, while we're mentioning it, maybe we should give some shout outs to our most faithful and most wonderful Grace family on Twitter and on YouTube. Yes, and if you want to be shouted out, make sure you hit us up on YouTube on the comment section. It gets really fun on there, as well as on Twitter, which is, we're using the hashtag Grays ABTV. Join the conversation right now. Mm -hmm. We tweet all week long. We start at 6 yes. a.m. when it comes on, uh, if you're West Coast time on Grays Day. It's just a fun day. We say Tuesday, Wednesday, Grays Day. That was cute. <laughs> a bit much, but we'll take it. So we'll K take it. Dallas 91, JJC Forever, we miss you, we love you. Dynamite Jack. What is Jason saying on there? Jason's like, I'm so sad I missed it tonight, girls. Get back on that red carpet or shut up. Right? Have, have a glass of here. wine for us while you're at it. <laughs> There's uh, Deborah Battle. That's a fun name. Savannah, a million numbers after. G Lee 24, C Oliveira 83. It's going to start playing. Boom. Kyle, okay, Kyle White, Elisa Harding, 
Um, you guys have been around so long. I love you as fans and as commenters. You know so much about this. So let's jump over to Twitter. We oh, have wait, hold on. Go for Sean's it. Sean's tweeting, I am 17. Those are a couple more. Oh, such wonderful. Somebody stayed up tonight to watch us at like 3 a.m. A drop it. of magic. I don't think that's how stayed up, but... Thank you guys so much. We love being part of this conversation with you. Um, oh, so if I jump over to YouTube, we have oh. some people that have been on the comment section. We've got Sky the Limit two one two, um, Liz Camellia and Scout Frost and Rocks Maniac and ev everyone just is going in about last week's episode of what was going to happen with this week's episode. I thought it was really really fun to get on the um, the Twitter and YouTube to just join right. the conversation with our fans. We didn't so fun answer. Already here. We did not actually see the leg cut, but we did see the call happen. Her tell it to Alex. Yeah, so okay. I remember that. I just didn't remember the actual z -z 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 down the leg, which why well, I don't know why I'm doing the sound effects. It's kind of a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I broke into song. Yeah, that's so. fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So what else happened on tonight's episode? Oh, so the plane. So what happens with the plane is we find out that the pilot ends up having a heart attack while he's on a first date. With was she a, a stewardess no, or she was invited no, 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 onto no, no, no. the plane? There's like these different websites where you can list something that you want to do, and if there's somebody else that wants to do it, you do it together. So she said she'd been in a couple of them, but they were kind of boring, like bowling or whatever. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So he was a pilot. Want to fly in my plane? Of course she did. Mm. And love first sight. I love how Edwards was like, oh, it was just so romantic. You were on a first day and the plane crashes. You were meant <laughs> and you and you survive. You guys were meant to be. Like, oh, uh, it's kind of a stretch, but we'll sure. I'm a sucker for a love story. I am too, but it was really but really much. these two okay, first of all, this lady's being brought in, covered in blood, in a stretcher. Blah blah blah. I can't stop talking about this. <laughs> Your neck might be broken, but then <laughs> quiet, honey. We had a sandwich, and honey, we do not need to know what you had for lunch. Yeah. You need to calm it, down. It was a bit. She came into the hospital, guns a blazing, <laughs> ready to talk about her first date that went down. Like she must not have any roommates, <laughs> right? So, in anyways, he ends up having a heart attack, and she uh, kind of assists with helping to land the plane while he's having the heart attack, trying to help her. It was just a whole moment that was right. going down. They end up crashing into. Uh, the street in the middle of Seattle where basically cars got bum rushed into a prenatal uh, class, care prenatal class. Prenatal yoga. Prenatal yoga. There it mm -hmm. was. Kind of ironic and perfectly on point when it comes to the writers. I feel like that was a funny little catch-22 there. That's exactly there. what would happen in Seattle. Yeah, <laughs> there's prenatal classes. I just thought it was a really cute plot too, like the storyline. There's I know babies everywhere. Baby one going to be birth. Baby two going to be birth. Yeah. I didn't hate that part, Star. And just the plane crash repetitive parts. Got it. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. We'll go with that. But, um, yes, so he has the heart attack. She kept him alive and she was head over heels in love with him and then whenever he's finally brought in, we see... He fell for her, too. He says, yeah. I'm going to marry that woman. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the moment where, like, it was a traumatic situation, so they they would want to be together, you know, because they went through that traumatic situation. Tra yeah. Traumatic things bring people together, but sometimes maybe years on the ro road, it, like, kind of was never meant to be. I don't know. Am I being cynical? A little. I mean, a traumatic situation brought Kyle and I together. Mm. A car accident, actually. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, and you drove me here tonight. <laughs> It's exciting for you going Woo! home with me. You know I like adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Just not this kind. Got plans later. It, me too. But the thing about it is, is that nobody falls in love like that really quickly, especially with somebody that may not live. It was fun. How much Stephanie loved it, though. Yeah. Stephanie she was became like obsessed. It was so funny whenever she's like, this is about me. I'm the protagonist in this story. Well, it was cute that she was in the middle of Owen and Amelia. It was like the Amelia sandwich with Edwards in the middle. And she was like, I see what's going on. I basically picked up the clues that you guys have been <laughs> dating or hooking up or whatever. But it's not about you. It's about me. Like, super cute. It was, it was some fun writing in tonight's episode. And there was this moment there whenever Joe... And Stephanie were talking in the oh, hallway. Love this moment. About their the love story that she saw and about the doctors that they can never see in the same light, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like the writers have done a perfect job of giving us the sense that they're now the young fun interns, which 
used to be Izzy, Christina, and Meredith. Right, right. It's right. crazy they that did a they great could job actually that. make us feel the maturity of them to the new class. You yeah, know? Yeah. It's like Saved by the Bell, the new class, except flawlessly executed. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I love the like backwards compliment in there, but okay. Um, with that said, I just thought it was cute that I was like, like really a morbid topic that they were making funny and they were balancing it out really well. Because sometimes when I'm talking to my girlfriends, like, you know, we're having two different conversations, but the same conversation at the same time. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like you're talking about one thing, I'm talking about the other thing, but it's kind of the same, but I'm not really listening to you. It's like venting. Those, I, those two friends more than anyone else do not talk about the same thing. Yeah. They really are carrying on their own conversation yeah. with their self, with their other friends. It's, it's basically just like being online. You think you're talking to somebody else. It's all about you though. Yeah. Uh, such a good episode tonight. No. All right. Well, no. Okay. No. Good scene. I'll go with you on that one. Okay. Good Those scene. Those two are adorable little friends. I like them. Yeah. They fit into the hospital wall. It was, oh, it was funny at the very beginning where they're like, oh, plane crash. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. Hustling over. Bailey. Yeah. Right through the middle. And they're of like, them, oh, we got to run faster. Fast. Look at each other. Dang. <laughs> if she can move, we have got to get on it. We've got to go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So it was cute that, uh. The little moment between, uh, what's her name, Maggie and Meredith, mm -hmm. where she was like, having that moment of like, what's going on? What's happening at 5 p.m.? Okay, so they were in surgery, and uh, Bailey was like, hey, I see, and I notice that you're like zoning out, and you're not mm -hmm. even paying attention. I know what's going on. I love when she does the mama role. Like, I got you, yeah. girl. Like, your husband's been missing. I overheard that conversation because she's like nosy, just like me, uh, where she knows what's going on with everyone, right? And she was just like, you can freak out at five. What, when do you think is a good time to freak out? And she's like 6.30. She's like, all right, let's make it even. Let's make it 5 p.m. It's kind of interesting that they finished surgery. They finished surgery way early, actually. It was like yeah. 1 o'clock or something. Who knows what the timetable. But she went home and she freaked out. She had that moment of freaking out right when the ambulance came up to the house. I thought it was a good way to do it how you can freak out at this time because then we had the entire episode to be with Meredith. Yeah. And we all as human beings have been in that situation. Yeah. Ooh, where are they? Ooh, they haven't called yet. Oh, it's fine. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's a matter, you know? Yeah. I'll freak out at this time. Well, Maggie had that moment with her, all right, I skipped this, was the exchange with, when she was like, what's happening at 5 p.m.? And she's like, oh, I, I don't know where he is. And she was like, you know what? I liked her comforting moment of how she like helped her cope a little bit. Like, it is okay. That's how I would feel. Mm -hmm. It is fine. And it's understandable. You should go home now. And I think yeah. that's what made her go home now. I don't think she would have gone home if she didn't have that exchange with her. And then Ella tells she was like, all right, Mayor. And I was like, oh, they're sisters enough to call each other, like, nicknames. Like, I thought that was, they're showing the comfort level between both characters. I can't believe she didn't know that's how Meredith's other sister died. She didn't even know she had another sister. She was like. What? Right? Wasn't she like. She doesn't know that Meredith had two other sisters? I don't think so. Oh, jeez. Two? Somebody should have kept her in. Yeah. Lexi had an older sister. Oh, well Meredith then. has another half sister. Yeah. Yeah. Who we probably will see in seasons to come. Yeah. They just pull those sisters out of the woodworks whenever they need them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one, one really odd and kind of hilarious moment, Chief was like, oh, the plane was coming at me right down the street. Oh, the plane was coming at me. Oh, the plane scalped my head. <laughs> <laughs> it just got more dramatic and as time April, goes on. April standing in the back. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, she finally decides to confront him about it. This was all funny up until the chief had this full on rainbow bright moment. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It was really corny. Okay, I, I wrote down corny because there was a few corny moments. This was the corniest though. Yeah. I knew when a, a life flashing before my eyes moment is near death experience. This was one of those. <laughs> well, I, th I think the writers know what they're doing because we've caught on to this all season. He comes on with that aha moment, and mm -hmm. that's like his one-liner where he comes in and he's like, aha, you, you know? And then right. it's like, and then he exits. And we're like, oh, okay. I guess that's what we're used to. Like, I know, right? Cry, Chief cry. is just a goofy little guy wandering around having his own moments. <laughs> oh, I almost died today, but instead I pictured all of you lovely people. I know, and then the view, like, let's take a look at the view. <laughs> of the hospital like it was uh, really nurse. nurse nurse yeah just really corny and the loved thing it. is though that was that was really fun is that this um plane crash victim who by the way her name was kate shaw no. 
That is my best friend from college's name before That's she got married. so funny. Somebody must have known Kate Shaw, the real one, <laughs> to name her this. Do you hear that, Kate Miller? She doesn't watch the show or our show, I don't think, so I'm going to let her know. Yeah, then we'll, we'll get a new fan tonight. But so she forgot She forgot her first love, or her, her true love. Yeah, she, out of she there. came out of surgery. She went into surgery. She was all talkative, came in, coming <laughs> in, loving him, falling in love with him. And then she goes into surgery, comes out, has a little bit of memory loss, temporary memory loss, which is normal. And that's what Amelia was saying. Like, oh, this is normal. And, and Owen's like, do you think that's what really happened? <laughs> and she's like, oh, that's my best. Assessment. Like, he was so <laughs> abrasive. It was over the top. <laughs> so abrasive. Oh, yes. And then on top of that, she's like, no, no, no. This always happens. And Stephanie's like, this will not happen. This will not happen. She has to remember her love. This is about me. Wheels the woman out of her bed into a wheelchair. Look at him. Yeah. Remember him? Well, she was like really pushing her to bring back her memory because she loved this whole love story. And whatever mm -hmm. happened to her love interest date? Didn't she go on a date? No. Remember, he was a high schooler. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was Maggie who went on the date. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But Which so I want that takes, story to come back to. Yeah. And I think it will. It's yeah. already been two times. So she takes him. She takes it into the room and... Kate Shaw remembers. All of a sudden. True love is real. Enjoying the view. I remember. I just want to see his blue eyes. His blue eyes. They're all the colors, but in the sky, they're blue. Blue. Cute. Love it. That was fun. That was a fun patient story. Yeah. They hardly gave us enough of those yoga women or that guy who got his leg amputated. That's huge, too. But yeah, yeah we didn't focus on them. We just didn't focus on them at all. But let's go back to all the flashbacks that they were having, Meredith and Derek, when he the night before he left. Yeah. We never saw this. This is our first time seeing them like the night before he left to get on to, to go and get on the plane. Part of me was wondering if she was imagining all of this. Hmm. Like maybe their last conversation really, really sucked. And she was picturing what she would have rather had it be. Kind of like the chief over-exaggerating about the plane. Exactly. Scalping his head. Just remembering it different than it was. Right. Wishing that's how it was. Yeah. I don't necessarily think that's the case, but part of me was wondering if that's the direction yeah, they were going to go. I mean, I, I don't think that was the case either, but so, I, that's an interesting take on it and that you're entitled to your own opinion. But they were really blissfully happy, and it was kind of eerie that they were mm -hmm. so happy. Because we, we haven't seen this in three seasons yeah they haven't been this lovey-dovey maybe they faked it for the moment for a scene well, or two Derek, Derek woke her up mm -hmm. but crack of dawn to have this pillow talk because she was snoring and I promise if you've been snoring all night and you have two small children you don't get these moments anymore yeah you were telling me so that. that was completely fake unless they have a nanny that's taking care of the kids that wake up at sunrise this was completely unfeasible <laughs> I am happy they had these moments though Somebody brought up a good point. Um, Derek was talking, oh, I love you. She was saying, I don't want you to leave, yada, yada. Let's have another baby. Mm -hmm. Could Meredith be pregnant right now? Huh. Could Amelia be pregnant right now? Huh. <laughs> These are all possibilities that I like. <laughs> but, okay, first of all, I don't want Meredith to be president. P president? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> pregnant. She can't even take, you know, the joke. We, she can't even take care of her own kids that she has right now. I don't it's want just, her to either. It's just like, I don't... Ugh. I don't want her to be pregnant or president. Yeah, <laughs> we don't, I don't want her to go through that. It's just not... It's it's That's not going to happen. But what I do think is that they were blissfully way too happy. Mm -hmm. And I liked it. This... I no, want more of it. See, here's the other thing. Start. Here's the other moment when I was like, really, again... Because this is what they do on this show when someone's about to get killed off. Who's going to get killed off? They love them on the show. They have an extended absence. Mm -hmm. They just aren't in the episodes for whatever the reason. This is exactly what happened with George and several other characters. I want to know the reason. And then they're back. Everybody loves them. Everything is perfect. You can't imagine the show without them. Kaput. Kaput. What do you mean you want to know the reason that he's getting... Uh, that he's been not on the episodes. Well, we we saw a little previous... We're not jumping into predictions or anything, but we did see for next week that there was a car crash. No, no, no. I'm saying, why has he been gone for the absent I'm working with the president? Oh, that's why. Because that's how Shonda gets people used to the idea of that person not being on her shows. So, but why did he just... He signed a contract for three years, both him and Meredith. 
to be in three seasons, right? We found this out a few years ago when um, they got greenlit for season 10, right? I think that his contract had the option to be up at the end of this year. Mm, that's what I want. I just want to know the backstory, not the true story of the characters were falling. Okay. I want to know their real life stories of why he's been off the episode for so many episodes. And then now he's coming back for a couple of episodes and they're going to maybe kill him off. I just can't even I, believe it, Star. I don't want it to happen. This cannot happen. So it hit, Meredith is going home, and she's peacefully, peacefully sitting there watching her clock. Oh, tick, tock. Weird. Who tick, does that? T- whenever you're waiting for news like that, I can uh, see it. Bing. 5 p.m. She stands up to go get the phone. And then we see cop lights in her window. Mm. And is he so, dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? You know what? There was this campaign a while ago called Stop the Knock. And it was because cops, after something happens, have to go knock on the door and tell the family members. So what's Stop the Knock? Stop the Knock was about putting seatbelts on. Mm. But that was what the campaign was called. Oh. Stop the Knock. Go, girl. And um, I just, I know a family had gone through this before who got that dreaded knock at the door. That's just what I was picturing. See, I thought you were going to say Stop the Knock, like stop knocking on people's doors. No. (laughs) And telling them. It's way more serious than that. It's not a joke, Star. (laughs) Whoops. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so Molly was Lexi's younger sister. Thank you, Deborah Battle. Um, so she's still out there. She's yeah. probably going to be a doctor in the hospital one day. One day. She wants to be after, be like the, her sisters. That'll be the storyline. Maybe she's going to go live with her dad in the White House in Scandal, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. So we just we really need to talk about this because if this happens, it will be the single biggest death that has ever happened on the <sighs> show. It just can't. It can't star. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> it this can't show star. isn't ready for it. No one is ready for it. He is one half of the lead couple of this show. I think he's gonna die off the show. Oh, it would be It would just give us something to work with, because <laughs> we're kind of running out of ideas. Um, you know, like he can't star. Wh- what are they gonna? This is the opening scene. I mean, he on should stay on the show if he this gets this relationship. I, okay, of all the things, this show has found a way to survive with and without people who we never thought it could. But the show is about them. It yeah. started on them for it to come full circle, for it to have a good ending. It needs to end on them. I think that's why they reshowed the first episode last week to give it a little full circle because he's about to go. But this isn't the last season. I, it cannot go on without Derek. Uh, Meredith what do you can't guys go think? on. Grey's Anatomy can't go on. Yeah. Go on to Twitter right now. Let us know what you guys think is going to happen. You really think that it can go on without him? I think it can go on without him. It can be the him. same show. Then she'll have a new lover. No, that I, would be I, weird. I, I that can't. would be weird. That would be I weird. I mean, this, the show is not an actual person. It's not supposed to live for 100 years. <laughs> it, it really needs Derek. <gasps> they are it. Mare Dare. Mare Dare. They're the heartbeat Hashtag of Mare the Dare. show. The sh- I, I, I just, it, it can't. The fact that they're even making me possibly think that it might happen makes me angry. Oh, so ridiculous. I don't know what's going to happen. So I have no really, idea. So really, we see next week that, and Star did make a good point. They didn't totally spoil it. They spoiled the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, I never said that. The preview for next week spoiled the whole thing. He wasn't the one in the car accident. Okay, first of all, they basically told us he didn't get on the plane. So we're all thinking plane crash. So I think there was a little, whoever cut this trailer should be fired. Um, Because it just revealed way too much. Then we realize we think he's in a car crash in the trailer. Then they show us that it wasn't him in the car crash. (laughs) They should have cut it off. Right? And then they show him saving a life and then running away from a car blowing. It's like, you basically just sh- show it's like a bad movie trailer like now i don't even go see the movie like I already he's like i just out. don't let people die not even you girl from parenthood <laughs> <laughs> i feel like the trailer for next week revealed way too much <laughs> where was he during all did something happen in the explosion is because we didn't see him after the car exploded did the you know some amber hit the, like so really, here's the thing what <sighs> They, they're constantly doing stuff like this. The only reason that I think they might actually be doing something big on the show is for the reasons that you've been saying. All the montages, all the moments, that eerie moment in bed, the fact that they showed the first episode last week. They're really leading up to this in a big way. If it doesn't happen, they're just toying around with us and have run out of ideas, which yeah. is kind of evident. It was, it's evident. 
then we're running out of ideas to talk about the same things happening you know like and they even did the the next next week in the trailer they used how to save a life how that's what it's called that was life. one of this show's big breakout songs yeah. they brought the fray to the front and center of everything this was like my anthem you know well, got, everybody loved how to save a life well how to save a life someone uh, tweeted me earlier today that this was going to be the next episode yeah and so they're thinking how to save derek's life might be a big but i, I just don't want to see derek going through trauma again either no like i don't want to see meredith going through trauma it's kind of like it's running I don't its even course wanna, i don't want to see them fake me out about it yeah I, i'd rather just do more lighthearted things with some drama that comes into the hospital i'm okay with life or death just not these people's lives right and deaths. we're on the same page we're on the same page or other people's you know just not those two other people in the hospital why don't you bring in some more interns to kill off right oh five in three out <laughs> every season what do you think <laughs> about this episode out of one out of ten Oh, well, obviously, Star and you guys, I'm pretty rattled about this Derek thing. Okay. I'm distressed. I'm distressed about it because I love this show, and I have for 11 years, and they're either blindsiding me or they're getting rid of Meredith, and I just don't know. I don't know if it can go on with it. That's next like week's that. episode. What about this week's episode? I can't hardly think about it, Star, but I guess on a scale of 1 to 10... This wasn't my favorite. This was close to my least favorite of the whole season. Just because I don't want to do the plane crash thing anymore. I, I'm, I'm giving it an almost a six. Okay, a so six. then we'll... I'm giving it an eight, so let's even it out at a seven. But seriously, guys, seriously, writers, like, there's a lot of stuff here. They proved that last week. Yeah. Pick real medical stories. But they found a lot of stuff out of recycling something. We can't be mad about it, you know? We got to teach some of our people a little bit about... Can and are. Yeah, but the only thing I did like about that the plane part. crash, you know, they got to, they got to learn about what happened to their colleagues before and like the trauma that happened throughout the hospital and how they really are a family. And we got to go through drama with Amelia and Awilia. Awil yeah. I did love the surgery scene where they decided to use glue. Uh, oh, yeah. That had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. And that's the kind of medical innovation that we've come to expect from these doctors. Mm -hmm. And Maggie just fits right in. Maggie fits right in. She knows she's she's smart. She knows what's going on. She has solutions. Uh, but I love that she, they, were, they were really optimistic, was the word, about the surgery and really helping saving this guy's life. I felt like it was a beautiful moment. And it also got Meredith out of her... PTSD because mm -hmm. she was just working hard and focusing and I, there was a lot of blood and everyone knows that I love blood <laughs> and the drama that's what I come to Grey's for and I feel like they really gave me that in this episode I feel like all the characters showed up they came to play they were they were all yeah. great except for Owen <laughs> but I just I can't Owen came to not, play he was just over the top about the plane crash to me yeah on the show or ever yeah uh, been I, there done that I wasn't feeling his sorrow which is probably horrible of us to say so we will uh see you next week more about the steric thing but really i'm super distressed about it guys my hair is really dramatic just saying you know what your hair came to play <laughs> <laughs> star's hair showed up tonight boom. hi pony <laughs> boom she's like jason's not next to me i'll take up the screen with hair <laughs> should we move into predictions i think we should and now, your After Buzz TV predictions. All right, go for it, Julie. Well, I am a little bit disappointed that Callie went on a date with a cop and it didn't go anywhere. Because what oh, yeah. I yeah. what I am wanting right now is a brand new relationship where they fall fast, fall hard, and it's good. Yeah. Because this show really has done a fantastic job of making us feel love when the characters feel in love. I love love scenes. Yeah, we need some we need some some deep fantastic fresh new love. So I'm hoping we get that. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm hoping it's from Gally. There's not No, I'm hoping it's from Maggie. <gasps> no, I'm hoping it's from Stephanie. Yes. She wants it the most. She wants it the most when we saw yes. it this episode. So I predict Stephanie's going to get some love. We're we're building okay. up to that. Okay. Um just just because I think somebody needs to say it, I predict Derek will not die. Okay. I predict they're toying with us again. I, I'm with you on the toying with us. It's a possibility. But to make it fun and make it more interesting, he could die off the show. And I... And we, we over the last few episodes, we were okay with that. I'm predicting right now that Amelia's pregnant. I think it would be an interesting place to take it because they both want kids. They don't want to be with each other. That's 
pretty much the opposite of what we saw with him and Christina for all those years. Yeah, and then most likely she'll probably have like an abort, not abor- abortion, is the wrong word, um, a miscarriage or something like no, that. No, I hope that she has the kid, and I hope that they they have Come to deal together. with the whole co-parenting thing. I they guess we just did that. Really bad. We just did that with April and Jackson. Yeah, so I, I that think, wouldn't no, be the right. I think it's choice. happening. Okay. Anything else you think that's going to happen for next week's episode? Um, Are we going to get some more Jolex? Everyone loves a Jolex. I would love some Jolex. I would like to see that like progress. I mean, I guess they're just together and they want to keep it that way for now. Yeah. But give us that wedding. Yeah, well, they're the happy couple. They they never have any drama. They're like they the haven't one in a while. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay, let's see. What what do I think? Um, I do think that he's going to go down in the plane crash. Um, and. Who? There's no plane crash. I do think that he's going to die. <laughs> no. Um, and someone just tweeted that maybe they'll get hit by another car coming around the like the bank. Maybe because, you know, they were on a curvy road. They showed us way too much on this trailer. Like I am very uncomfortable with the cops coming. That's bad. Yeah, the cops, the cops come- coming doesn't that doesn't usually happen unless there is some sort of terrible death, death and bad news. They have exactly. To deliver. Exactly. If he was in the hospital, the hospital would call his wife. And she would come down to the yeah. hospital. I'm going to have a terrible week thinking about this. Oh, no. It's going to be a long week, huh? Really? I mean, 11 years and I just can't say goodbye right now. Oh, my gosh. She's going to cry. Right I see it. She's I'm looking sorry. Me, she's looking me right in the eye. I got really weird. It's I got, like the, it's I got really Harry intense. Potter. I'm just not ready to let go of it. It's been part of my life for too long. All right. We'll bring the tissues for next week. Any other predictions? Um, I don't think he, we'll show that he's dying off next episode. We're going to learn. Yeah, it's gonna. They're dragging this on. So I feel like next episode we'll talk about the, the, the crash. And then they'll circle around to her the cops coming up to the house they've just prepared us way too well to know that they're always tricking us and but but also (laughs) that to know that meredith is happy by herself the whole jazz the whole season seems like it could possibly be leading up to this yeah and i'm just hoping and praying it's not that's what i think i really am super curious to know what you guys think yeah follow hashtag grays abtv Comments in the YouTube section, comments on iTunes. We need to know your opinions because sometimes you guys have better points than I would have ever thought of on my own. And let's think of a fun thing. I know you guys have some fun memes out there. And if you're on Instagram, because we're always on Twitter and YouTube, but let's join the conversation on Instagram. We use the Grays ABTV hashtag there. And if you have any fun memes about the show or just some really fun information, make sure you follow us on Instagram and all of the fun things. And let's make that challenge. Isn't that fun? Absolutely. Boom. Done. (laughs) See you on the Insta. Well, I I guess that's it for this week. Yeah. Please don't stress out too much this week. You know what? Here's here's what we're going to do. Everybody at home, we're not going to stress out about it until 5 p.m. next <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> then we can freak then out. Then we can start freaking out <laughs> for three hours. Until then, we focus on our surgery and go about our lives. Boom. I <laughs> love it, Julie. Oh, my goodness. So fun hanging out with you today. I can't wait for Jason to be back next week. Should and be wonderful. We're going to have a great show. So make sure you come back next week, and we'll see you guys soon. I'm your girl, Star Session. You can follow me on all things social media, S-T-A-R-R-S-E-S-S-I-O-N. And I'm Julie Parton. You can find me on all things social media at J-U-L-I-E-P-A-R-T-I-N. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. 